Hey guys, welcome back to next gen blog and in this video I want to show you how to make velvet texture in blender. Now it's actually super easy to make velvet texture in blender. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, first I would like to delete this cube as I don't really need it. And instead of this cube, let's add a monkey. So go to the add menu, go to mesh and now select the monkey option. Next, let's add shade smooth because I want to make the surface of the monkey smoother. So go to the object menu and now select the shade smooth option. All right. Let's now turn on the render preview mode and I just wanted to check the lighting and as you can see the lighting does not really look good right now. So we need to make some changes. So first I want to change the light from point light to sunlight. So select the light and now go to object data properties and now as you can see currently point light is selected. So change it to sunlight and the strength of the light seems to be a lot right now so let me decrease the strength so currently as you can see inside the strength option the value is 1000 so decrease it to somewhere around let's say 8 yeah this looks good now let me change the direction of the light so go back to object properties and let's rotate the light along the x-axis by 45 degrees and let's rotate it along the y-axis by 90 degrees and I don't want to rotate the light along the z-axis so let me simply write 0 in the z-axis yeah as you can see the lighting right now looks pretty good all right let's now open up the shader editor to make the velvet texture so first let me drag this on the right side like this and now click on editor type and select shader editor currently there is nothing inside the shader editor because i have not added any material on top of the monkey so let's add a material so select the monkey and now go to the material tab and now click on the new button now as we all know by default principled bstf gets added when you create a new material so select the principled bsdf node and delete it and what you need to do is you need to add a glossy bsdf so go to the add menu go to shader and now select the glossy bsdf option now place this node right beside the material output node like this now connect the bsdf output of the glossy bsdf node with the surface input of the material output node and you're going to see something like this so you need to increase the roughness from 0 0.500 to 1 yeah now to make the velvet texture we are going to add voronoi texture so go to the add menu go to texture and now select the voronoi texture option now place this node besides the glossy BSDF node like this and connect the color output of the Voronoi texture with the color input of the glossy BSDF node. So now as you can see our velvet texture is beginning to take shape but it's not quite ready yet. So you need to increase the scale from 5 to somewhere around let's say 12 yeah this looks much better so our velvet texture is pretty much done but one final thing that we need to do is we need to add a little bit of roughness because right now the texture kind of looks really smooth so to do that we are going to add a noise texture so go to the add menu go to texture and select the noise texture option now place the noise texture node below the glossy BSDF node like this and connect the FSE output of the noise texture node with the displacement input of the material output node. Now increase the roughness from 0 0.500 to 1. Also increase the scale from 5 to somewhere around let's say 600. 
perfect and we are done so as you can see we have successfully created or made a velvet texture so this is how you can make velvet texture in blender do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching